Previously on Tekken Bloodline. Hey, Hachi's plan to lure out Ogre is underway. Jin has been trained. The fighters have been assembled for the King of Iron Fist tournament. However, Jin is starting to catch on that all is not what it seems. Hearing rumors about his father, Kazuma Mishima, as well as dark rumors about Heihachi himself. Everyone he meets says the same thing. Beware, Mishima. It's seeming more and more like it's only a matter of time before Jin learns the hard way that the Mishima Zaibatsu is steeped in so much blood, you might just drown. What'll happen next? Join me as I find out, won't you? Ogre. Oh, we're doing another opening like this? His eyes perish from the dark. Oh, hey Hachi, show you! Oh, Mishima Polytech, I didn't realize that they went to the same school. Oh, I didn't realize that the school was owned by Mishima, but that makes a lot of sense. Huh. Shaoyu is incredibly bubbly, but makes a lot of sense. Ah, uh, he knows he's gonna take on Leroy. People all over the world watching. Jin Kazama versus Leroy Smith. Uh Leroy's ready to throw down. Is he gonna point to Heihachi and be like, you're next? And of course Heihachi wanted this. Arang! Pull! I still can't get over Julie in her more recent appearance. But then again, her older appearance was kind of problematic. Ooh, trying to get him off balance. Oof, oof! Uh, thinking back to his mom. You can't fail now, kid. You come too far. Yeah, he's got you in terms of technique, so... Gonna have to overpower him. Yeah, but Leroy is driven. This is what Heihachi wants. Ooh. He blocked? Power through the attack. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Recovered. Yeah. Leroy's got a lot of tenacity. The Jin just has that fire. Gotta love how Leroy's glasses haven't been broken yet. Ooh. Oh! Got his leg. Ugh. What's she gonna do, Jin? She doesn't feel good about the win. I like the fact that Harang and Jin are actually talking. I feel like you don't get enough of their friendship nowadays. Uh-uh. Shao Yu against Nina? Uh-uh. This isn't gonna go well. Oh. <laughs> Julia beat Marshall? Anna beat Yoshimitsu? Yeah, King! Screw Marty. Uh, I don't see Shao Yu winning this. <laughs> no, uh, she she's literally a killer. <laughs> she is pissed. Nina versus Shao Yu. See, Nina has the power, but Shao Yu has the ag agility. <laughs> like she's just a kid, and like, and what are you? Ooh, hey, how she has a pretty good opinion of Shao Yu. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, see, that's good. Exactly like I said. Xiaoyu has the agility. Nina has strength. But... God, it's so weird to hear Heihachi actually have something good to say about Xiaoyu. Oh, no. Oh, no. I couldn't see her tanking attack, so... Oh, holds. Ooh, damn. Xiaoyu, you got... Yep, that agility. Nice. Combo her. Wait, no way she beat Really? Shall you beat Nina? I didn't see that coming. Huh, I figured she'd end up facing off against Anna. King! Oh, Leroy's gone. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. So people know that Jin was trained hard by Heihachi. They just don't know why. Leroy recognizes that, okay kid, you don't understand what you're dealing with when it comes to Heihachi. L let me lay it down for you. <laughs> oh, Leroy, you don't know how right you are. It's just like, what? Heihachi using someone? No! No! Uh, but, but this is based off of Jin's... Jin's first time learning. You, you don't trust Heihachi Mishima. Uh-uh. Heihachi. Oof. Heihachi with the shade. Man. That moment actually made me like that they included Leroy with this. Okay, what is with this weird shadow situation? Like, the weird square shadow. He's trying to keep Jin's eyes on the prize. Man. I like the idea of Heihachi just being like, Hey, hey, this weakness? That's what killed your mother. Remember who killed your mother? Every opponent you face is Ogre. He killed your mother. Killed your mother. He killed your mother. Brings out loudspeaker. Killed your mother! Oh, this is different. Oh, he's facing Harang. Harang. Into the dojo. Bow to your sensei. In the battle against his anger. I think this is why I want to see this keep going, like, multiple seasons, each adapting a game. Because I like this journey for Jin. 
Now the animation isn't the best, but I like the characterization. Like Jin struggle. That's what interests me. Look, it, it's those two warring ideals: his mother or his grandfather. And ultimately, which will he give in to? Oof! Down, but not out. <laughs> I love that. The joy of the fight. Here comes the clash! Ooh! Oh! Got him! Uh, he staggered. Ooh! Ooh! I feel like Rang's combat style can leave him off balance very easily. If he's not careful, that is. Whoa! Don't hurt him, Jin! <laughs> you done? <laughs> God, that sinister look. But you're not Mishima, Jin. There he goes. He's starting to find that balance. <laughs> oh man, that anger! Holy shit! The power, but with none of the cruelty. Like, beer? You guys are freaking high school sins. Wolfie, <laughs> this is fighting a grizzly bear. Oh, it's fighting Kuma. Oh, that was fun. I like that one. I like that, because it's, again, like I said before, it's the warring of ideals. Because, ultimately, certain aspects of Heihachi's training is not wrong. That's why he's such a capable fighter. But the cruelty, the merciless nature of the fight, no, 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 no. And I like that Jin has started to find his own way. I like that development, that growth of his character. And that's really what I'm in this for. Like, I could tell from Jump, it's just like, uh, the animation's not gonna, not gonna be anything special. It's pretty damn decent, though. Like, all things considered. Like, I like... The cell shading, I like the, when they choose to actually do full-on 2D. It's just those weird, like, square shadows they have on the character from time to time. That's odd. Not to mention some of the backgrounds. Uh, like, when they're doing, like, panning shots or long-distance shots and stuff like that. The CGI is just, ugh. But a lot, even, like, really good CGI series that do that, it never looks great. But this series is getting down the characterization, the growth, the storyline, like everything else, I feel like it's really nailing it. And the decision to add in Leroy to be like, yo, Heihachi is not what you think he is. He's vicious, he's cruel. But that's obviously not you. Guard yourself, be mindful. And considering how essentially Tekken 3 ends, which I uh, suppose we're gonna see at the end of this, it's something that I feel like would make more sense if Jin is kind of aware of that by the end. But we'll see. See if they change anything up as it goes. But I like that they juggle the storyline with the fights. I mean, you got three fights over the course of this. I am kind of sad that some of the fights we never got to see. I would have loved to see Yoshimitsu throw down and Anna and all of that, but it is what it is. Not really focused on their stories at the moment. And Tekken Bloodlines, guess which bloodline it's all about, you know? But let me know what you thought about this episode. Do you feel like they're really managing to get across how Jin is able to just see what Mishima is teaching him and what his mom taught him and he's starting to learn a balance between that or do you feel that they're not doing such a great job? How did you feel about the fight? How did you feel about Jean Yu versus Nina, Jin versus Leroy, and then Jin versus Haorang? Were you happy to see that? Do you wish we could see more fights? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, I've been Deez Deez Jin. And hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.